Okay, I'm back for a second. Let's see if I can talk this up. Okay, back for a second. And I want to show you what I'm up to now. <laughs> Let's hope I don't regret this one. But you never know unless you try, right? So, let me bring you a little bit closer. Probably a little bit closer still. And uh, what I did was get, get some brushes. These are just from the El Cheapo set from, um, I think I got them at michaels.com or something like that. And also took a little spare piece of the sponge. And this is one of my better brushes. This is from uh, Blick Art Supply. If you need links to any of that, let me know. But anyway, and I've got that on the end. And that's what I'm going to use to dab here and there to make that look a little more natural around all my edges in a minute. And I hope that works. Um, I got out my black iron core primer. There's a tad left in there. These El Cheapo brushes, and I've got my chocolate brown right here, and I've decided I wanted to try to put a vein over here. And I think I'm gonna hyperventilate. I don't even know where I wanna put it. I'm wanting to look at where I thought I was gonna put a vein earlier, and I can see my tracks of that, and that then I didn't particularly like how it turned out because it's not going to hurt to go ahead and change that. So, I intended on going right there, but I think I'm going to go right here instead because I see several tracks of the brown and I don't like how they look. I'm going to, gosh, Lee, I'm going to take out the flat brush. This is about a half inch. I don't even think that's a half inch, but it's more than a quarter, so it must be a half. And um, I have an angle and, and a flat. And I'm going to go with the flat first. And I'm going to go in the brown first. Because I want this a little bit wider. And I'm going to start off of the edge of my thing. Can you see where I'm at here? No. Let's see if I can tilt it. I'm going to start off of the edge of my that's not giving a good enough mark of what I'm wanting I'm not sure that's gonna work we're gonna we're gonna move forward with it And I'm just very lightly trailing it, thinking about how I would a sort of a tree branch if I was painting a tree branch. Heavier at where it starts and thinner where it leads off to. But I'm going to have it venture off in a Y in this direction. To start always back up down here where I'm wider. Have a couple of areas where it wise off at and let them be areas of ugly things that I'm wanting something else to take the attention of rather than what's there. And it doesn't have to go all the way to the end, so I'm stopping. Okay. There's a good bit of, like, you can see in between the, the paint didn't get good coverage. I would have needed two, um, two coats. But now I'm going with the thinner, kind of a liner brush, and I'm going to go with the black right in the middle of that brown.
you got to be careful because it does start like dragging around the brown a little bit instead of applying more black. I'm going to get a little bit out on my lid here so I can dip to that, dip in that. So I'm expecting this brown to tone down the black a little bit, but I really want the black there because in time or over time in the cracks in the granite and things that are there, there would be bacterial growth, I think, and algae growth and dirt and grime and other interesting things be growing through that crack. So they would be a little bit darker. I'm always trying to keep my brush going in that same direction. Instead of stopping and coming back to fill in, I'm always going to hopefully remember to fill in going in the same direction. If you forget, forgive yourself and move on. And know that everything happens for a reason. This may or may not even be something you're interested in doing to your countertop project. But I just want to reassure you that you can if you want to. I'm just hoping that what I have in mind next doesn't mess everything up. But if it does, you just stamp more paint over it and start over. It's not a big deal. Okay, at this moment it definitely looks like a vein painted on. Now I'm going to get one of the sponges and try to dab over it and make it not such a straight line. Smear it out a little bit. Make it look less deliberate. You know how when things crack and then they've been, you know, outside or, or something like that, it'll start to make little veins that sort of little feeder veins that come out of there that will eventually create more cracks. That's the idea that I'm going for here right now. Sorry about that. I know I just hit that. I'm trying to unload and then offload a little. Kind 
gonna haze out my line just a little bit more. widening the line with the chocolate. Now I'm oh, smearing it a little, fading it out. This black one. Whoop! Now I got it on the dang floor. Okay, part of this. Rubbed completely off. I'm gonna make sure that's back on there good. Okay. I'm going to stop on this part now and pick back up on the other side, working on getting the mix of colors in. But first, I'm going to clean this up off the floor. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> 